Hi Carl, um, so I just wanted to thank you for coming in to talk with me and sharing the barriers that you're facing. Um, as we've been talking, I feel like I've learned quite a lot about you. Um, if it's alright with you, I'll just kind of share that information with you and then you can kind of let me know if I got it right or not. Um, you're 45 years old. You have a family consisting of your wife and your three children. You're a chef that maintains a job most of the time. Your favorite pastime is spending time with friends, and when you hang out with your friends, you're usually fishing, um, drinking, or playing cards. Um, you have been asked by your wife to leave home recently um, because your anger towards your wife and kids has been scaring them. Um, so you came to see me. Um, you don't want to leave home, but you're aware that you become angry and you threaten and yell at your wife and kids. Um, once in a while, you hit your children as well. Um, when you were growing up, you and your brother um, were subjected to, you know, a lot of severe physical abuse um, from your father. Um, but, I, you know, I see a lot of strengths and resources in you. Um, right off the bat, I learned that you're not afraid to seek help. Um, simply becoming to see me, you've proven that. Um, that also says to me that you're brave because a lot of times it's not easy for people to seek help and share their emotions um, in their past. Um, it sounds like you must have pretty good cook, cook, cooking, excuse me, cooking skills um, to be a professional chef. It's great that you're able to provide for your family that way. Um, I've also learned that you have several friends that you enjoy spending time with, so that's awesome. Um, you must like to fish, and you must like to play cards, so that's pretty cool. Um, that proves to me that you have a great support, support system in place, and you must be a pretty friendly person, too. Um, you also don't want to leave your wife and kids, and that shows me that you love them and that you cherish family. Another major thing that I've learned is that you're resilient. Um, you also shared with me that you and your brother experienced physical abuse from your father, and for you to be able to become a father yourself without passing that on says a lot about your re resiliency and uh, your morals as well. You know, a lot of times when people go through things like that, they start to blame themselves for it. Um, they might say stuff like, uh, something must be wrong with me, or I'm unlovable. And, uh, you know, then they start feeling emotions such as anger or sadness or fear. And it's very, very normal. Um, you know, many of us have thought those kind of things about ourselves before. Um, I think certain events definitely trigger those emotions for you. Um, say you had a stressful day at work, um, and you just want to come home and relax, you know, we all do. Um, but your kids are running around, they're yelling and fighting with each other. You start to get frustrated because you didn't want, you just wanted to, you know, take a little nap or something like that. Um, but they're too distracting for you. Um, so you kind of march over to your kids and you might threaten them with something. Um, you know, physical punishment. Um... Or maybe your wife gets annoyed with you because you forgot to do something and uh, you get angry with yourself because you forgot, so you might lash out at her instead. And, you know, this becomes a problem because your wife and kids start to feel intimidated by you and then they ask you to leave the home. So at the end of the night, you feel awful, so all you want to do is have a few shots of whiskey with your friends at the bar. But this can also become a problem because you start doing it more days than not starts to bring out your anger when you return home intoxicated and it's also impacting your sleep schedule. So does that sound about right to you Carl? Okay good. Well you know if you stay on this path you're at risk for developing a substance use disorder, um, maybe some anxiety, depression, and even PTSD. So uh, in order to support you why don't we keep working together and start to develop a plan that will help you. Does that sound alright?